countless places throughout Cambridge that are gorgeous throughout the seasons. I want to show you seven places that are perfect for photo shoots, be it for bridal parties, engagement shoots, graduation, or cosplay. Some of these are tried and true, and some of these are a little bit different. So come, let me show you my personal favorite places to take a photo with the perfect backdrop. Number one has to be Mill Race and the Living Levee in the Galt area. Throughout all seasons, the combination of water and the ruins of the old Turnbull building that are now part of the amphitheater makes for a great backdrop. Wedding parties need out a special license to photograph here, but if you're doing your own photography shoot, then go for it. Often filled with people during the warmer months during the lunch and dinner, make sure that you have the place to yourself by avoiding these times. In late afternoon and early evening, as the sun begins to set, you might be lucky to have the river bathed in a gorgeous pink light. Walking along the living levee with the towers of the churches in the distance downriver and the dam in the mill restaurant upriver. The sculpture garden along Absalon's Walk is filled with interesting art beside the Grand River. Modern art with different textures can be fun to film and use as a contrast. The walk itself is lovely, with greenery on one side and a slope down to the river on the other side. As the art pieces are put out to display, you never know what you might find, and there are several interesting pieces that are permanent works. Continue past the bridge for a quieter section of Absalon's Walk. The walk leads to Craig's Crossing, the pedestrian bridge across the Grand River. Built of metal that is being left to rust, it has an industrial feel to it. The view from the center of the bridge looks totally different depending on what time of day you're filming. One view looks into the core of the downtown, while on the other side it follows the Grand as it wanders away from Cambridge. From on the bridge or looking at the bridge, both make great photos. During the day when the old post office library is open, the public has access to the viewing platform on the second floor. Easy to get to and free. Here you have a fabulous view of Main Street Bridge and Central Church that's finally revealing itself after going through an extraordinary extensive renovation and restoration on the outside of the building. Don't be surprised if you see bridal parties taking pictures here on Saturdays. If you're planning to do the same, let the library know. moving up Main Street to Centennial Park, where the cupola from the old Gore building now resides. A lovely structure in itself, and from Central Park you can look down Main Street, across Main Street Bridge, and into the other side of the river. Slightly outside the Colt Core, take Blair Road to the head of the Walter Bean Trail. This trail leads you to the Blair area of Cambridge and is popular with hikers, joggers, and dog walkers. Just off the trail is the lookout into the Grand River, across the river to the Galt Country Club. It's almost unbelievable that the view is so close to the downtown core. This area is closed from mid-November to mid-March for nesting eagles. The Mill Run Trail in Hesler passes by what was once the tourist destination of Idlewild Park. The trail runs along the old streetcar route and there are some magical spots here, especially some of the old and twisted trees, perfect for cosplay photography. The dam and the river under the bridge both make perfect places to shoot. The historic Black Bridge in Hessler is a favorite spot for filmmakers and it's been seen in many movies. Wonderfully, in May to early June, the land beside it is filled with white, pink, and mauve wildflowers. Always be respectful and careful when filming nature, and make sure you wear proper shoes to protect your feet. The Spreed River under the bridge is also a wonderful place to take photos. Shades Mills. There are so many trails and vistas you'll be spoiled for choice when doing photography here. Wedding parties are beginning to realize this as well. There is an entrance fee, but if you live close by, it's worth having a yearly pass. But once you start taking photos here, you'll be coming back again and again. From dark mystical forest to bright sunshine and water, twisted tree stumps and moss-covered paths, for a forest setting you will find almost everything that you're looking for.
If you have a favorite place to take photos, leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in Shades Mills Conservation Area, watch this next.